yeah, I think, yeah, okay, what I'm gonna do, um, we may as well do this, um, since this is, like, using a lot of, um, Honey Hive's, like, level design, I think this will be a good, good time to go over, like, observatory stuff, because... Before we do yeah. that, I just want to, I just want to point out, one of my favorite Hat in Time mods is a mod, is a level of, it, they basically took Golden Leaf Galaxy and then made it into a Hat in Time level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I've seen And that. it was awesome! Yeah. Yeah, I, I will it say- It was probably the best yeah. mod level I've played. Yeah, I will say, I do f I do like this more than Honey Hive overall, because I think- I briefly mentioned it in that galaxy, but I think they make you better use of the level design here. And what I mean by that is, uh, one of these, like, I think right now, um, yeah, we have to look around for blue star chips, so it's a good use to- make use of the level of the design here where you have to like look around every everywhere and you have to look for like a secret star that's in this big open part of the level as well and i think the platformy bits that's outside of this like um open space is a lot more interesting than than, than in uh honey hive or whatever it's called um so i mean Obviously, yeah. at a base, this is just a re this is just a, a, a mirrored. A, a, at base, it's obviously the assets are just a mirrored um uh, uh, version. <laughs> yeah, like in a in an ideal world, I would have preferred like all new level design. But um, for what it's worth, I don't think this is half bad. But it, it is like shamelessly like copying level design. <laughs> yeah, we're not in Galaxy Two yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. There's no. Because of that, there's uh, not too much to say about this level in particular, so... Um, yeah, we've been building this up for a while, um, like Jason talking about Com the Comet Observatory, so... Um, I guess let loose with All that. Alright, so, what I wanted to say about the Comet Observatory was... Something I love about... Uh, shit like this, and to an extent, something like Al Delfino, when you, like, as you're gathering the sign sprites... Mm -hmm. Is how the is how something like is how like it evolves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you're you're steadily restoring the power. Like you're steadily restoring something to its former glory. Yeah. I yeah. Because so, like I you know because like it's like going back to like what I said about sunshine. Something it's about like you know you know it's all dark and gray and all that and it's like because like. It's supposed to be a sunshine paradise, but uh, as it is, but as you gather each individual shine spray, it's slowly the light comes back. Yeah. And, and like, you yeah. can steadily see the, and the, the, the moon, and sorry, not the, sorry, not the moon, the sunlight's just coming through. Yeah, and by the end of the game, it's like super shiny and like almost like. Right. Hard to. <laughs> it's like uh, crazy. I don't know. Right. And. And so, co with the Comet Observatory, it's a similar thing, even if it's with more of the main MacGuffins, which is the Power Stars and the, and the Grand Stars. Yeah. It's, and I kind of wish what they did, though, there's, there's something I do say, though, is, like, I kind of wish that with each Grand Star, more of it just opened up than just in the individual um, observatories. Mm hmm Yeah. Because, it's, cause like, the first one, uh, it, it's, like, before you get your first one, it's all dark. But when you get the first, but like when you get back there with the first one, then the lights turn on. Then you get like one, then you get the second, um, the one from the fountain, and then it's like even more is lighting up. That, like, I like that, and, then, and the music's yeah. even evolving. Yeah. It's also what I like about um, Xenoblade Chronicles when you're repairing Colony Six. As like mm -hmm. as you're doing it, you could definitely you could see the life coming back to it. Yeah, I, I think like. It's uh, the the best to showcase like how a place is evolving through music and how like it adds more instruments or gets more um, uh, sounds more heroic right. I guess and like all this other stuff. Right. And, because yeah. when Comet Observatory is at its fullest, it sounds so grand. Yeah, exactly. And they do the same thing Just... for Galaxy Two. Right, and as I said, and I was again using my comparison with Xenoblade Chronicles Colony 6, like, as you're repairing it steadily with each bit, you can hear the music restoring to, like, something so much more grandiose and, mm. uh, pe and, like, happy. Yeah. It's good stuff. And right? when you yeah. finally get there, and it, it took a lot to get there. <laughs> I think it also just it's makes you s see, like, firsthand, like, the, um, impact you're making on the world. 
Right, that's, that's something I like. Yeah. Um, getting ahead, getting ahead to Galaxy 2, I do like the progression of how, like, it's, like, you know, you're traveling around, so the background does change, or, like, as you're going, as you're going through certain levels, you get new people on the Starship Mario. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's, that it, goes, yeah. It, it kind of gives it, it kind of gives a similar thing, but, like, it's a but in a different kind of way. It's a different feel. Like, the Comet Observatory getting, like, more stars and whatnot. You're powering up, like, the the Comet. The Comet itself. Whereas in uh, Galaxy 2, you're more just going deeper and deeper into space and, like, grab uh, getting along, um, like, more passengers, if you will. So it feels like you're steadily growing, like, your ship, if you will. Right, I made this joke in, uh, in, in, um, when we were before the recording where I said, like, um, it's, it's like, by the end of, by the end of Galaxy 2, it's like your ship has become a gigantic, like, Muppets truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, that you goes, know, if anybody's yeah. seen the Muppet movie knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, uh, that goes in line with what I was saying, like, a few sessions ago, where Galaxy 2 feels more like a, a space adventure than Galaxy 1 does, because, like, you are getting more people on your ship and you're traveling across like these like alien worlds and whatnot and um what the heck is that i don't can i break this oh okay they're like mm. they're like flatter versions of the question blocks in mario kart yeah also there's this i think this is meant to just make it quote unquote easier to grab the bunny because it'll get like it, it limits where you can move yeah Sometimes it, okay. I guess it does like help. That. Most of the time, I most of the time I don't I don't bother hitting the switch, but I guess that does help. I didn't know that was a thing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I definitely enjoy the observatory in terms of um, like, law building, I guess, and how it affects, how it gets affected. Oh, mm -hmm. funny number. Nine coins. Yes. One more start to one more start to go, and then we get the funny number as well. <laughs> <laughs> I also, to a lesser extent, I do enjoy um, the simpler stuff like sixty four, where it doesn't really change, but you're. I like how you're slowly accessing more and more parts of the castle. I'm surprised Toad Dwarf wasn't can... added to sixty four DS. What well, Toad? Mm. Uh, yeah. Toad Dwarf, maybe at least to manage the mini game area. Yeah, you got Wario that can break black bricks. The black brick brick, bitch. <laughs> yeah. God. That's such a weird game. Welcome to Asa 3 US Galaxy. <laughs> yes. Welcome! Hey, recycle the galaxy! <laughs> yeah. God. My dogs are barking and I need to let them in. Mm. Hello, sunshine enemy. Yes. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna test something. Um, oh yeah, you mentioned in the, you mentioned in the chat. You said that like your cataclysm only hurts you if you can run into it or something like that. Yeah. Okay. That bonk, uh, that didn't hit me in this game. But if I did that in Sunshine, that would have hurt me. So this guy only. Yeah. So this guy is literally harmless. Yeah. Yeah. In Sunshine, the either you hit them from the side or you get hit by a red one. And if you get launched by a red cataclysm in that game, then you're gonna take damage. I think I think because it launches you so high that you can't aim that. I think it launches you higher too. Yeah, something like that. So I think it gets to the point where you're in, where Mario will take fall damage. Uh, no, it's not that. Like you, you, you uh, take damage from oh, the. Oh, oh, immediately getting launched hits. Yeah, you. the the contact itself hurts you. Ah, uh, okay. They're like platypi. They're they just have like venom laced around their bills or something. Okay, I completely forgot what I was doing. Man, that wow, that, <laughs> uh, that puts oh, Perry the platypus yeah. into a different perspective now. Yeah, actually, I misspoke. <laughs> Perry platypi actually have like venom laced claws, not their bills. There oh, you go. <laughs> well, we got... Perry never just scratched off the <laughs> smirk. I'm just imagining Perry now like. Like doing his sound, and it's just like venom dripping out of it, like 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 an apex raffian's tail. <laughs> okay, where the hell am I going? <laughs> okay, I'm dizzy now. <laughs> Guess I'm going up here.
This is what happens when you don't remember the level design enough. Uh -huh. It has been a while since I've played this game, to be fair. How long has it been? Um, I know... I remember playing at least Galaxy 2, like, a couple of, ye couple of years before 3D All-Stars. But I don't remember when I last played this game. Hmm. So I said this in DMs before, but knowing my luck, uh, when we do Galaxy 2 on the Wii, they're, they're going to announce it on the Switch, like, the next day. <laughs> That's going to happen, I guarantee it. It's the... either a blessing or a, it's either, it's either a good or bad, depending on how one looks at it. Yeah. Okay, just wonky gravity stuff going on. Yeah, thank god these guys can't hurt you, otherwise this, this part would have been a hot mess. How much of that did you hear from me? Enough. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've had like one yeah. meal and... I've had one meal and I'm probably just subsisting off of gas in my stomach right now. I have, To be fair, I haven't e eaten a lot today either. Nah, me either. <laughs> All yeah. I had was my dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we... Oh, you had dinner? How nice. <laughs> oh, God, where it's all, it's all I had. I feel like I'm completely completely lost right now. Hmm. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just doing something quickly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Scrappy has turned into a horse. Yes. I wonder if you. I wonder if it's possible for like the cat. Scrappy has turned to a Scrappy at one point has been a platypus and now he's been a horse. Yeah, I was gonna say like um you're talking about platypuses earlier and it was just like. How, how um, old is that let's play? No, <laughs> remember the old DKC three Scrappy the platypus? Oh, I remember that. In fact, I'm checking the channel right now oh! to see how old that was. Yeah. What was your reaction? Point seventeen. What was your reaction when you like heard that like voice clip back, Scrappy? I can barely even remember it. <laughs> uh, so, I remember, yeah, I remember it specifically. It's like, I, I, okay, we start the part. I go, bananas. And then Jason's like, welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3, and we're going to Barrel Shield Bust Up or whatever it is. And then, uh, and then uh, Scrappy's uh, like, uh, uh. Whoa. <laughs> And you just cracked up. <laughs> yeah. And then, was it, we died later, and then, and then just suddenly, uh, <laughs> Oh, goodness. That's the best thing ever. I may have, I may have went past it, let me, let me scroll back up. Oh, you're looking for the clip? I'm looking for the playthrough, yeah. Mm. Summer 2017. Well, I mean, because, like, Harry added so much more playlists because of the... <laughs> uh, it, well, if you search, if you just search, um, DKC3, it should come up. Well, because, like, I'm trying to remember where you, when it was timeline-wise. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, let me slow down. Well, I found DKC2, so there it I is. Pre <laughs> I appreciate the Jenga Tower. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> uh, yeah. Scrappy is scrap. Uh, well, the video was uploaded on uh, December. The first video was December fifth, two thousand seventeen. Mm. Oh, well, I yeah. thought we, well, we recorded in the summer. Yeah, I, I part like... two. Part part two was um. Uh, wait, was it the same day? Yeah, I, I like a little junk Oh just, no, two days later. It's just someone, <laughs> just someone in the dev team having a bit of fun. I forget- I, I forget how casually Mario just, like, kicks the enemies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I like how Mario just kind of pops to normal <laughs> when you grab a star. Yeah. I wish I would have just let him, like, do a- Oh, yeah, funny number! <laughs> I wish they would have just let him, like, do the victory pose with the suit on. That would be cool. 
I want to see more of the, the Luigi victories. They made that for three stars. Yeah. It's me, Luigi. Better than better than zero, but I yeah. didn't use him more. Mm -hmm. They should have had a ghost. They should have had a, a level where Luigi rescues Mario in the ghostly galaxy. Yeah. I mean, they could have done that if with the Luigi run, but they, instead they make Luigi save Luigi. <laughs> yeah, I think we should just do this galaxy. I don't, I don't want to keep going for a long time. Uh, you want to, like, turn around? <laughs> I found Scrappy- I found Scrappy's last one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't know how loud it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, uh... it's so funny. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, where's the B? There is. <laughs> there you go. This is gold. <laughs> I hate listening to my past self. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, my microphone quality sounded so much better back then. <laughs> Wait, really? I think that was when I was using my old headset. <laughs> oh. We were on uh, Skype when we did that, I think. Yeah, that explains the, that explains the platypus stuff. Yeah, because um, that was before Discord had screen sharing. Which, thank God it has now, because I don't want to go back to Skype ever again. <laughs> I put it. I put it in our. I put it in our group chat. I put and I. T <laughs> yes. Hey, I got. I gotta mute myself for a second. I'll just be a moment. <laughs> Enjoying yourself with that. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's. It's definitely good for us to just do a shorter session because. I feel I think if we try going any longer with this, it's gonna we're gonna just run out of steam. How come Mario doesn't lose his power when he starts sweating? <laughs> that is a good question. Oh god. Yeah, we're already, like, coming into this session with my energy levels pretty low, so... Mario, did you move too? <laughs> oh yeah, this is the point in the game where they have, like, a bunch of these, like, moles in, like, these little turret machine things. These could have been Koopalings if it was not for Miyamoto being a hack. Yeah, I mean, this was before they, like, came back, so... They could have been in Galaxy 2. But, yeah, now that I think about it, we haven't seen the Koopalings in a 3D game, so that would be no, kind of neat. And no, and people... Oof. Yeah. People are going to... People are going to incorrectly say that the new Super Mario sub-series, like, poison the water on that, but... Poison the water hole! So, do you, so you know what's funny oh, about the geez. Hat in Time mod I was talking about? Even recreated this to an extent. Huh. I don't remember what they did, though. I, d I just remember that what they did was they had three timepieces, and um, each of them were based on the main stars. Huh, that's cool. All right, so we'll... and then immediately it jumped into a uh, it jumped into purple coins. Okay, so I guess uh, using I... the timer from the train thing. At... Oh right, <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> oh right, yeah. Okay, that's that's a clever use of uh, reusing game assets. Yeah. Okay, I don't. I think it was just pl flat out playing that. Okay. Oh. Okay, I think I remember this. It's a race. It's a cosmic cat one, so it's just a race, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I almost forgot <laughs> forgot that there, there was going to be a comment. 
forest race. Yeah, it's just a bunch of blocks and just, yeah. Yeah, this will be a good time to show off the uh, boost, if I can get it right. Like, you have to crouch. So you gotta crouch and then hit what? Uh, crouch, ho uh, hold forward and press like, A or something? Well, let's find out. Mario's ass. There we go. That, yeah, that's the boost. I had no idea that was a thing. Yeah, I knew the boost was a thing, I just didn't know how to do it. Yeah, it's, um, the game doesn't really tell you about it. The only thing, the only reason I know about it is because I saw it online back in the day. The only reason I knew about it was because I saw it in the Brain Scratch run. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they didn't explain, but they didn't explain how to do it. Oh, of course. Can this, can you give me a better camera angle game? <laughs> Alright. That was really short. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I think we've me I think we've mentioned yeah, mentioned this before as well, but yeah, in the Luigi run he does actually like do more like speed run tricks and whatnot. And he's also just faster. Yeah. Well, rather, he 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 re he he does his movements faster. Yeah. Like he shows no hesitation. Yeah, pretty much. I think I don't know if there's anything else in the game that's changed in Luigi besides like his actual like physics and whatnot. Uh, like I don't. Like I mentioned before that yeah. spinning in the spinning will do it. Yeah, because I, I don't know if like say. Um, the other race races is, are like di more difficult with the Luigi run, or is, or if it's just the cosmic Luigi stuff. Mm. Yeah, we just go over here for the secret star, and then I guess we'll just do an. We'll stop early today, cause, I, yeah, I don't want to be do doing this all night. But yeah, this is interesting. This bell here is um interesting because they're in, uh, like, a cut planet. That was originally going to be part of Good Air Galaxy. Um, there were going to be like three bells like that, and you 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 could activate them with your little um, star thing. And I think they'd give like I think they did activate like a music path, but I don't know if they I don't know what they actually activated. But also low water theme. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 right. But yeah, it's a. Uh, it's cool that they managed to at least, like, have, like, one of those bells saved from the cutting room floor. But yeah, it's only been 50 minutes, but it's really late, so I think we're just going to call it early, uh, so... Yeah, we, would, we probably would have gone a little more if I came back from work earlier. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, we, we at least got the trials done and one of the galaxies in the engine room, so... Next time we'll try, we'll hopefully be able to finish the rest of this place, and um, yeah. I got nothing else, so. I, I don't think we even, like, got any more storybook stuff, so we didn't, I don't think we need to do that. I don't think so. I think, I think we're gonna need to get to the last bits and already even unlock those. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys got anything else to say? Oh, I am not a suckers! <laughs> Scrappy. Food. Yeah. That about sums it. Yeah, that about sums it up. See you guys next time.